Hello everyone, mistakes are made. I make them all the time, like filming right next to the highway. And that is why I wanna talk about summer fashion mistakes you might be making. Wanna know how I know them? I made them myself. So let's head to the studio and get the video started. All right, so here we are. First off, you are not incorporating layers. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell am I talking about? It's hot outside. Layering doesn't always mean more clothes that you throw on. Yes, a tank top and a camp collared shirt is a perfect layering option for the summertime. Throwing on a vest is a good way to layer as well. But what I'm talking about is subtle layering using accessories. So take this extended belt from Idol Ido. Here's a regular summer fit without the belts versus with the belts. Already, there's some visually interesting detail to the fits that can be often neglected like I don't know why people don't do this enough you can always do this with silk scarves bandanas keychains however you want to go about it it's a great way to layer without adding some extra heat and the same is going to apply to sling bags plus you can carry some water you can get the EDC off your body into a bag and you have a diagonal strap going across your body that's a different fabric can be a different color it's going to add some details doesn't add extra heat and of course you want to rock some jewelry it's a must for the summertime but also don't skip out on frames frames are basically jewelry for the face and again, it's no extra heat added. Now, if you want to add a little bit of extra layering with very minimal heat, let's talk about the bandana. You can go however you want about this. I'd just be aware of what colors you're wearing, which area you're in. And yes, it does add a little bit of warmth, but not as much as another layer, like say a vest. Plus, it can be much more affordable depending on how you go about it. So start adding some layers and don't be this guy. Now, the next thing is only wearing dark colors and never wearing any light colors. Listen, y'all, I get it. Black and dark colors are just easy to throw on. You don't really have to think about it. Plus, it can be tasteful as well. I'm not denying that but I say this all the time you got seven days a week if you just add one day a week where you wear lighter colors it's gonna be much more refreshing to your fashion routine and it's gonna be a lot more cooling as well plus are you really gonna go the rest of your life just wearing dark colors I wouldn't want that for me personally but yeah all black peak summer is rough you and I both know that so even switching to gray can make a huge difference now to be fair I am saying that as a New Yorker who has to walk around the city sun shining on me all the time so take that with a grain of salt I'm sure if you have an air-conditioned car you're gonna be totally fine so my advice start with light colors like gray white and cream before you move on to those bolder colors I love the Uniqlo Airism shirts I think it's one of the best shirts ever made and it's only 20 bucks Plus, it's moisture wicking, very breathable with that airism technology, and they've got a ton of colored options. But this also applies to your pants and sneakers. Do your research and have fun with it. And if you saw my video on shorts already, you guys would know I would recommend these lighter shorts from the sponsor of today's video, Lululemon. See, athletic shorts, they always come with a plus over regular shorts, which can be from extra stretch and moisture wicking fabrics all the way to 3M reflectivity so that you can be seen during the nighttime. Now, these ones right here are the pace breaker shorts. They come in a ton of different colorways a ton of different lengths depending if you want a shorter medium or past the knees i love this light blue and lemon colorway also the arctic green one is pretty nice and these shorts are moisture wicking quick drying which is a bonus for the summertime plus they even come with zipper pockets which a lot of shorts miss out on this and even though these shorts were made for running they look just as good in a regular outfit plus like i said you get those features that you wouldn't get in other shorts these shorts are definitely a recommendation for me i'll leave a ton of links in the description where you guys can pick some of these up they have dark colorways and they have light colorways and they move with your body which is perfect for the summer so definitely pick one up thank you lululemon for sponsoring this video now the next mistake is never utilizing prints graphics statement pieces and all that see i'm all for minimal fashion i think it's beautiful very tasteful as well but it's just like the whole dark color thing man there's seven days a week am i really going to be in minimal fashion seven days a week for the rest of my life no so incorporating a statement piece just just once a week is just going to make things more fun and interesting so whether it's switching your shirts for a striped shirt or a graphic tee or swapping your shorts for a printed short it's those small differences that make summer fashion more fun so switching my white oversized tee for example for this a cold wall brushstroke shirt already makes a huge difference in a fit now i'm not telling you to spend this kind of money on shirts so let's switch it for a simple graphic tee from the same brand from uniqlo this graphic tee has a heathered look to it and that really nice graphic as well and it does wonders and you all know i love my tie-dye pants it just makes summertime much more easier and much more fun because i'm just letting the statement piece carry the rest of the fit so i have a few other recommendations i really like these floral pants from y3 i just picked up these tiger print shorts from subi shoot even if you switch from a regular tee to a pleated tee that's already gonna make a huge difference because you have differences in texture as well but you all get the point let's let's keep it moving now up next is never tucking in your shirt i was this guy up until last year so before i was just i don't know i i was just never a fan of it but i promise you 
if you pick up some high-waisted trousers, it's just going to make it that much easier to tuck in your shirts and make it look nice. So here's the same fit side by side, one tucked versus one untucked. Which one do you like better? So I think they both look good, but one gives off a different vibe, right? And that's all I'm saying, man. Maybe try this once a week or so. You can try it with fitted shirts, try it with oversized shirts, with tank tops. Plus, when you do this, you can actually get to show off your extended belts or your keychain like I recommended earlier. Because sometimes some shirts are cut a little bit extra long. They might cover up some of that detail. So now let's talk about the next mistake, which is the fear of showing off your ankles. Honestly, I don't get where it comes from. If it's not your preference, I 100% respect that. But I think some people get so offended by seeing another dude's ankles. Honestly, it's kind of weird. Anyways, when you do this, no-show socks are your best friend. I really like these ones from Uniqlo, but there is a time and place to wear no-show socks. So as a general rule of thumb, if you're gonna be wearing wider leg cuffed or cropped trousers, crew socks would probably be the move like Come on, this ain't it. Now, if the pants are tapered and slim, I do think the no-show sock goes best. And if you're gonna be wearing shorts, I think you can go either way. Just depends on your mood. And last but not least are two mistakes which you are dressed way too warm for the weather, AKA wearing darker colors, you're still layering, maybe wearing a beanie. I mean, I still wear a beanie sometimes. But hot fabrics like a beanie or an overshirt can just be a little bit too much, especially during peak summertime. And the next one is you're not keeping summer nights in mind. So that extra warm fit you wore during the day, wear that during the nighttime. You can save that summer fits for a date night or so. Maybe keep that overshirt in your sling bag. So for me right now, it can get down to like 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 C. Now that's actually pretty warm during the daytime. You got the sun shining on you. Obviously when it's nighttime, that doesn't happen. And it can even be windy as well. So that's why I recommend keeping something in your sling bag. You can get away with layering more at nighttime. And those are the summer fashion mistakes I made. Hopefully you can learn from it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Until then, stay fly. Deuces.